Welcome back, GMB Nation. This is your host, GMB Grace, aka GMB Rex, and today we're going to be reacting to a historical moment in Black history. A Black manga artist by the name. Uh, well, I come by many names. Um, my legal name is Miku Vassal, but my author my author name is Jamo Park. Um, not really well known by many, but by the few that know about me, they really like my stuff. So today we're gonna be reacting to the first issue of my graphic novel series called Pursuit. Um, I released it back in 2017 as an actual physical book that you can actually buy on Amazon if you ever get a chance to, but I'm releasing it now for free. I'm releasing at least an issue a month. I released the first four issues on this website called Tapastic. That's T-A-P-A-S-T-I-C. If you go on there, you can check it out. It comes not only with the actual chapter, but with the music as well, as well as the first official color page. And you can read it on there for free and check and see if you're interested. If you're interested, definitely consider probably buying it on Amazon. Look up Pursuit Volume 1 by Jamo Opare. That's G-Y-I-M-A-H-O-P-A-R-E. And you can go on there and you can buy yourself the first volume, or you can go on my um, Patreon, which is by the same name I just listed. And now, you can all these pay. names, sorry, y'all, all these, all these uh, descriptions that he, he, he give, that he's giving y'all will be in the link in the description. Now. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, you know. But yeah, I get what you mean. But um, yeah, um, we're gonna react to the first official issue. Well, it's kind of like an author's reaction to another artist's reaction. Um, but uh, yeah, by all means, um, let's start this. Let's see, we can turn the music on. But I can do it as a soundtrack myself. so quiet. Where is everyone? Zebra. The weather is rather interesting. It's cold. Heck, I haven't seen a soul for miles, but I'm guessing they're at the dunes right now. It is fight night, right, bro? Cyber? <laughs> the world is an apocalypse, young blood, and you never know what you might see. Lost, gone, broke. Katali? Hey. I'm surprised you and I are still alive. The gesture you make is rather kind. Although money doesn't have any value anymore, it's practically worthless. See, these lost capitalists, society, overexpended. Their resources and broke down the very fabric of most people's comfortable lives. Ever since this happened, the world has been left a wasteland for small soul. Atheistically, as the song Come Sussers of the Tide said, it's all returned. This is the hardest voiceovers are really hard to hard to do because you want to make the character sound good by making the character sound sound. Yeah. I don't know what the future holds, bruh. Do what you want, bro. <laughs> Ah! 
Eyes. What the freak is Zeke Z going on? This is also mad man of Francisco right here, right here. How will I be something as some serious? I don't even know how he's able to fight. You're so fake. You know that putting up a front front like you're some boss hog or something. When you want to take off that fake blindfold. Over your eyes and show us the truth. It's been a while since I have I had actual actual challenge. Ah, silent when I see. You ignorant fool, how could you say such a thing about something or someone with a physique such as I? I'm well known by all that dwell in the dunes as Hanjo the Beast from nowhere. I don't really care for them though. I hate the humans anyway with their arrogant antiques. I'm no expert, but I know I. A man with no eyes cannot dodge a throw like that. It's some practical freaking sense. I mean, if you can't comprehend something as simple as common sense, that would make sense you are wearing a dumb blindfold. <laughs> if I had eyes. He's so relaxed. Why is he trembling in fear like everyone else? as calm as a, a flowing stream that makes no waves or noise. And silent as well. He doesn't seem like he actually wants to fight me. It kind of seems like he's trying to retreat. But why? Dude, are you done yet? Cause I got to jet. Places to go, things to see. Do we really gotta fight, man? Never tell to God like me. Away, Save me your boots. Run away. I'll understand. Maybe you're afraid to. Maybe you're too afraid. Maybe you're too afraid at this point. You cannot move. Actually, I'm okay. I just don't want to fight. You waste. You waste of time. You waste of time. Starts playing harmonica. I heard this before. I heard this song so many times. How the heck does that? Does he know? This is the song of my life. How am I doing sound effects, man? My father told me one day on the eve, 4th of July, on the day he was known to die. My brother then replied, not many things were known, but about his life engine running out, and he says, <laughs> Please, don't sell the land before this place turns to sand, or else you'll soon be cold as snow, and you'll be knowing nothing but your bones. Please, don't sell the land, because it will take the power out of your hands. By then, you would have sold your soul and there'd be nothing more you need to know. The days are cold in the summer when you're old. My sons, there's something important you need to know. On that day, 
Years ago, my father founded the, this land that we stand on. On that day, a man approached him and told him this. Yes. No matter what happens, no matter how many generations, do not sell this land. As I, as my last words, my sons, I urge you <coughs> for your own safety, remain on this land if you wish to. <laughs> well, don't worry, Dad. You won't need Thank to worry. Well, he's gonna die. Well, don't worry, Dad. You won't need to worry, cause you'll be all around, right? Dang, bro. Show some sympathy for the old geese. Yes, well, it's all the same to me. At least now I can get his weekly afternoon and Haymon punch marks. Survive. Wait, is that his old voice? Or? Yeah, it's the old voice. Survive. Good luck, my sons. <clears throat> Dad, wake up. Wake up. Hush. Hush, dingus. I'm trying to smoke. I'm tired of your ascending attitude. Don't you know any respect? Why don't you stop talking out of your butt? It was bound to happen. It's not like he's going to wake up. He's freaking dead. Will you both just shut up? Shut the heck up. You're both disgusting. One, it's just fake fraud. Who acts like he cares, but he truly has his own agenda. And then the other is just the aesthetic, atheistic jerk who cares only of himself. Blasphemy. You would dare say such things to your... Would you shut the heck up, dip face? I'm sorry to interrupt. My name is Jonathan, the one in the charge of your father's will. Mark looks good, health. Health and Luther hasn't cut back on the tempera. Hanjo looking like your father, said and the attitude as well. Well then, let's get down to business. While the recent loss is tragic, the situation isn't all bad. You all get presents. The land will be split evenly amongst the siblings. Hmm. However, the oldest three gain privilege to personal professions of their departed. The oldest the oldest gains all access to Black Market Enterprise and is head of the East League's League Gangs. Second is head of the world's leading video game company in all major entertainment franchises. Huh. Hmm. Lastly, Hanjo is in charge of the food, pro produce, industry, and security shall be provided to all siblings as long as they stay in occupation of the land. Hmm. 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 So, we'll only be secure if we're here. What happens if we leave? What young master, I cannot say. But for your own good, I wouldn't leave the paradise your father left behind. Now, if you will excuse me, I have important business to attend. To I bid you all a farewell. <laughs> huh. As always, you look. Wow, that was an awesome day. As always, you look like a boss, young master. Hmm. I went to fight. I went to fight night. It was one impressive show. Father never liked it though. He always thought he was childish. I'll never grow up. The world is my playground. Tonight was really fun, but. Missing one thing. It's crim it's crimson and shiny and makes a splash sound. <gasps> Opens door. <laughs> oh man, that's dope. I'm gonna have like some sound effects in it and stuff like that when um uh, yeah. I'll do all the editing, so you'll see. Awesome. Please. Okay, cool. We we'll record the whole thing. While we do record, I was about to say, no! All oh, those sound effects were not. But that's okay. So they thought what you did read. What? What did you think about? I like it, man. It was dope. 
I can see it animated and everything, man. It has, it has great potential. Though. And then, like, I can see those voices. <laughs> like, the voices the, the voices kind of mesh with the actual characters. Yeah, so it was, it was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I yeah. like it. A lot of hard work to do that first volume release. Right now, I'm working on chapter nine, and I'm almost at chapter 14. I have, all, I have the whole series written. I have the world pretty much figured out. Are there um, it's predominantly male characters in the series? Or is it it's gonna be female characters that haven't been presented yet? Yeah, they haven't been presented is yet. Is this the first chapter? Yeah, this is the very first. Oh, wow, first, okay. Each chapter is 30 pages. Okay. But you have a lot of content to read through. It looks very legit. Like, I can... Yeah, it has that that stylization, like it has that, spe- that specific taste that manga carries. It has like a rough little edge to it compared to like mangas like Masashi Kishimoto or something like that. But it has that, it has a unique quality to it that gives it that edge. Yeah. That, that I think is definitely is something like, like there's not, like this specific scene, Yeah, I like yeah, that has like yo. Like you can you can you can like really feel yourself in that room. Mm-hmm. It has like a depth to it, like he's actually like on his deathbed. It's not like like the shading adds on to that that factor. Yeah. That you know that like I have to say one of my major like, influences in the first volume, especially when I was drawing it, is a guy named Taio Matsuboto. Mm-hmm. He did art for a series called Tech on Ken Creed and a bunch of other series. And his he's very influenced by like French artists and mm-hmm. he uses a lot of bold black lining lineage and stuff, so Yeah, I, yeah. I kept saying I need to go get my jacket and yeah, I never yep. came to get it. But yeah, I thought that was dope, man. Definitely very interesting. So is he going to be the antagonist, this guy right here? Yo, um, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. This is one of those series is like, when I was writing it, it's one of those stories. Yeah, they, yeah, the more you read it, the more things make sense, the more you learn more about it. I'm just getting Afro Samurai feels from this kid. Like, like he could be like Afro Samurai's son or something. Oh, yeah, because it will be the reverse. Like, he got black hair, but he got white. Yeah. That's like fire. Polar opposites on him. That's yeah. on fire. Oh my God. Put a lot of emphasis on making like the main characters mostly African American. Did you get a little bit of inspiration from Afro okay. Samurai with the idea of this character? I mean, series like Afro Samurai, but like even more so if you look up a series called Billy Bat by this guy named Naoki Urasawa. Right. He draws a lot of like his character art is some of my favorites. Yeah, I really like the idea. I get a. Yeah. But by all means, um, we're, there are four whole issues out, so when you read all of them, everything will make like... Oh, there's three There's three more chapters yeah, after three this? Whole, four, four, I definitely gotta check it. I like that part. <laughs> like that. <laughs> that sound effect. It sounded like something new. Like, I'll get one punch man feels from him, low key. Like the sense of like... It's not, he doesn't have like urgent sense of care to like, you know, want to fight people, but he just does it anyway because yeah. people want to fight him. Yeah, so like he's always being tested. And I had that straight up subversion because you thought he was going to fight him. Yeah, yeah, just, I thought he was going to fight him, but it just like leaned into like a, a, a backstory. Yeah, I like, I like Monica. Is he got a boiling on his face? Yeah, he's so mad. His skin is boiling. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. So it's exaggerated. It's not skin is actually boiling, yeah, but it's like it's exaggerated. I, 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 I emphasize a lot of like exaggeration. I like that. That that's definitely different from what I've seen before. Like it's like you know how they always do like the eyes exaggerated. <laughs> like you know, I told them they would have like have like a little circle yeah. eyes with exaggeration around it. Yeah, that's a different. Yeah, that's different. I like that. And I like how he just caught him in midair, like, oh boy just was flying. Everybody yeah. was like, oh, so yeah. <laughs> I want to emphasize the fact that, like, he does have that sort of martial arts in place, but it's not like he's so pretty. And everybody's just, the look on their face, they're just like, Whoa. So are they like, is this like a apocalyptic type yeah. of 
Okay, because they have that apocalyptic, apocalyptic look to them. Like, like either they're part of the future, like have like the other um, a lot of uh, what do you call it? They have that poor look. Something like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the third world look. Yeah, I'm saying so. Y'all love doing stuff like that. You know, I don't know why, but that seems more easier to do than actually like drawing out the that extra detail. Yeah. Is that easy? It seems yeah, easy. Cause it's a, it's just like a little thing. Yeah, I really like that. The thing is, I drew all this when I was 16. That one low key. Oh, really? Yeah, this chapter, when I made, first made this chapter back in. Like, I think it was too touch. Yeah, you had a great sense of direction when, when it came to this. And I thought, like, the way this set up right here, I, it, it must be dark time or something. Is it dark time? Because, like, this setup right here, I, I don't know why, but it looked like he was in the arena and he was, like, throwing them and they had throw, showing the spotlight on him or something. Yeah, a lot of the reason why I did that is, like, it's, like, a unique way of paneling where, like, normally you would have it to where the background is lighter, but I really wanted to emphasize the fact that he was throwing him, so I put it on, so I, like, reversed it almost. Okay, okay, I see. To make sure the focus is on him. Look at them calves. That man didn't miss no leg days. Okay. No, <laughs> no leg days. You see the, the calves on this man? Yo. <laughs> 100 squats, 100 silks. See on this one punch, man. Oh, man. So what's this kid's role like? What was this kid's role? And like, he just was like a fighter that just tested him. He was a fighter that just so happened to be there. The look on his face, he got that mean face. You know that little mean? Yeah. Oh, he's like, yo. And I see how you played around with the anatomy for that. Like that just little detail to the side. Man, yeah. I really like that panel. This because, one? Yeah, even going back, like that was one of my favorite panels to make, just because of how it was. Yeah, so right now we're just paneling through and just paneling back, looking at the details from like each and every scene. And I'm just getting his perspective versus like my point of view from the audience point of view. Um, so it's really, it's really dope so far. Um, I like this scene, even you can feel the motion in that. When he's about to just, you know he's about to rock his shit. <laughs> he finna rock, he finna knock his top off. <laughs> oh man. Craziest thing was like I this seems dope. I like that. It has like I like that the sense of space. That sense of like yeah, it just has like this motion. So is it like it's just like a flow of, of care of like a fluid? It's just fluid. It looks fluid. Very fluid. The uh, sense of direction in which you did that point of view. Yeah, and one thing I, I really do did notice that in the beginning was that I did a lot of exposition. There was a lot of talking with the main character with the main character and that one guy inside of the um mm. inside of that building. I am planning on rewriting certain parts of it. But the one thing I I wanted to emphasize when I was first releasing it is just to show where my mindset and where my writing skill was when I first released it. So that when people read the whole series they see that gradual progression of an artist and it's like they the audience is growing with the artist. You know? Wait, so so anybody can publish on this website? Yeah, this anybody thing? can. Okay. How'd you find this? Is it, you just like research? Well, I or? actually published another comic on here years ago, back in 2015. Hmm. But it, there's a lot of other people that published their work on this yeah, website as well? Yeah, there's a lot of other people. Wow. Um, yeah. My hope is that people check out the first four issues. And each month I'm going to release a new issue. This, the, the next issue is going to be out next month, March 3rd, on a Sunday. Oh, that's him crying? No. Like, that's, that's that's blood? That's acid. Acid? Yeah. Wait, wait, did I miss something? From the beginning? No, like, go down, go down, go down, go down. Okay. See? And then that's supposed to be, like, an acid that all goes over his eyes and sort of burns it. Where did that acid come from? This is a, this is him like having like a quick flashback. 
Oh. But it's like abstract. Dude, just to the point where like I want to I want people to interpret a lot from it. I don't want people to just like I want people I want to keep people guessing until they actually get the full thing. But I wanted to give people a taste so that they're interested in wanting to know like what happened. Uh, you know it'd be funny. What? If any white boys what's up? <laughs> yeah, he being a yeah, man. <laughs> oh man, seventeen thirty. <laughs> I'm being childish, but nah. Um, this is very, very well done, man. Damn, that sounds good. And I get stoned vibes from him. Like yeah. when I first, well, the first thing that came to my mind, like I thought of like Shaggy, and then like. With some black, <laughs> with some glasses, I was like, okay. Shaggy. <laughs> but I, I thought it's shaggy because, like, I don't know, like, and then I, then I had like he had this chill low back, like, this chill vibe to him, kind of like he kind of reminds me of um, um, remind me of what's that dude? It's a drunk guy off of uh, Tekken. But yeah, like he gives me like, a vibe, a, a mixed vibe of different characters, and I had just like blend them into this one stoner guy in my head <laughs> when I did the voice. I was like, yeah, that, that, that meshes well. Someone breathing hard? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so like Dark Vader. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> I am your father. No. But no, nah, I think this is really cool, man. Yeah, I was just like, I feel like in the very beginning. I yeah, at the beginning, trying, I see this color. I was really trying, well, in the very like first few pages, I was really trying to establish what my panel's kind of style was, what the art styles of the series kind of looked like for the most part. Like, I really put a lot of emphasis on the inking and like these dark, bold lines on the characters and stuff like that. Hmm. But, um, you did this. You did the coloring on, on digitally, or, or? Yeah, digital. okay. So what you did was you used your original sketches. You put them in digitally, and yeah. then you just like did like a little color mesh that yeah. you to blend it all together and see how it came out. This is brilliant, man. I like it. I really like it. Yeah. I gotta show you some of my um, work when um when I get the chance to bring it um. All right, that concludes today's video. Um, make sure I'm in the camera panel. All right, that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's mm -hmm. video. Um, did a lot of voiceovers from yours truly, and uh, <laughs> hope y'all, <laughs> hope y'all liked it. It was entertaining, and um, yeah, this is a black historical moment in um for the month of February. We got the manga Argus. Name is Jamo Pare, and um. This will conclude today's uh, issue um, on the come on. What was the name of it? Pursuit. Pursuit. Oh, oh, okay. That's what right there. Okay, pursuit. All right, cool. Kept the temple. Man, yeah, that's. I'm still trying to like <laughs> digest it. That's. I really like it. Oh, and then this issue two and three right here. Okay. Although my returning subscribers. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. And if you want to see more of this issue by um, from the Pursuit com uh, manga by Jamo Park, then please do look in the link in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We can keep it short, sweet, and simple. And make sure you comment down what was your favorite part of this read today. And I hope you enjoyed it all in all. Thank you guys for watching You're today's welcome. video. This is your boy GMB Grace, aka GMB Reacts, GMB out. Oh yeah, that's right. Before we go, gotta let them know. What nation are you rocking with? I mean, I didn't know before, but like GMB Nation, bro. All, All day. day. Every day. Every day, 24 hours, 7 days a week.
365 <laughs> for the next, I don't know how many years the Earth is going to exist. Yeah. Apparently a billion. <laughs> I guess. Hey, but thank you guys for watching. As always, this is your host, GMB Crates, a.k.a. GMBX. And that concludes today's video. GMB out. Thank <laughs> you.